Marbiche, a last look at the betting, and then over to Rawley Gilbert. Favourite, Fabridge 7 to 2, Royal Heroin 10 to 1, Habib T also at 10s, Ski Sailing 11 to 1 from 10 to 1, Shoreline 12 to 1, and 20s bar those. Yes, the last few going in for this, the 169th running of the 1,000 guineas. You heard the voice of starter Dick Smalley saying one to go. And that one, here she is, the complete outsider, having drifted from 200 to more than double those odds, 500 to one. She is now a chorus prediction, the Mount of Ian Jenkins. Two trainers doubly represented in this, Michael Stout and Ray Oi. Lang. That looks like it. There they go. And it's... Uh, the first to show breaking out very fast was Crime of Passion. It's Crime of Passion, the early leader, from in second place, La Grigia. Right behind these two, towards the outside, comes Annie Edge, also in the leading group, is a chorus prediction, and then comes Flamenco. Right up there now is Rare Roberta. They've gone a furlong and a half in the 1,000 guineas, and Crime of Passion continues to make it from a chorus prediction. Annie Edge over on the far side between those two horses is Rare Roberta. Then on the near side with a nose bang comes Flamenco. They've completed two and a half furlongs, and then Habib Tian Shaw line together at the moment the favorite Mabish is well placed towards the center of the group and running now down towards the final five furlongs it's still crime of passion making it from a chorus prediction on the near side and rare Roberta and right after these leaders comes Royal Heron and with that order back to the stands and Graham the favorite Mabish is with Favridge both the favorites or the principles in the market in the mid division at this stage but it's crime of passion with rare roberta annie edge and also improving on the far side royal heroin and with just over three and a half furlongs to go it's royal heroin that strikes the front royal heroin in the lead from crime of passion in second place and just in behind these rare roberta then coming with a run on the near side is my beach that's towards the right of the picture we've got just over two furlongs to go it's Royal Heroin in the lead from Rare Roberta, Rare Roberta, Royal Heroin with Mabisha leeching a run. Then comes Habibti, it's over a furlong to go, and Mabish now strikes the front. Mabish in the lead from Royal Heroin, Farridge on the left of the picture, but Mabish has the advantage coming inside the final furlong. Mabish just from Royal Heroin, Farridge, Rare Roberta and Habibti coming well inside the final half furlong with Farridge staying on the far side. Mabish just has the advantage, uh, Mabish by half a length from Farridge who's closing with every stride. Coming up towards the line, Mabish wins it, Mabish wins it. A photo for second between Royal Heroin and Farridge, then Habibti and Rare Roberta. Behind these, Solly Mile and Ski Sailing and Myra's Best and Shoreline. Flamenco, and behind Flamenco is dancing. Mag in the back markers include Indian Lady. A chorus prediction, and last of all, was the one that led in the very early stages. That was Crime of Passion, and so the result of this, the 1,000 guineas, the eighth French victory since the war, because victory has gone to number 12, Mabiche, owned by Maktoum Al Maktoum, trained in France by Miss Coquit Head and ridden by Freddie Head. Second was number 16, Royal Heroin. In fact, officially it's a photograph for second place, but Royal Heroin with Walter Swinburne for me finished second. Also in that photograph for second place was number six, Faveridge, written by Pat Edery. That's the one, two, three in this 1,000 guineas. It was a race that was dominated by the fancied horses. Let's review the closing stages with John. Yes, things went brilliantly for Mabish. Freddie Head has manoeuvred her to the outside at this stage and somehow has got away from Pat Edery, who you can see just behind Royal Heroin. Royal Heroin is on the left of the leaders at this moment, uh, and Mabish coming on the outside to pass Rare Roberta and Habibti. But now Faveridge is making her run over on the far side, but she hasn't been able to shadow Mabish and deliver the challenge against her. It takes her all her time to get past Royal Heroin, and Freddie Head has timed his challenge quite beautifully on Mabish. He's got to the front here for a moment as they met the hill. It seemed to me that Faveridge was running on and might be gaining, but in fact, I don't believe she necessarily gets past Royal Heroin, and there's no doubt at all that this big French filly has held on up the hill to beat Royal heroin habibti third habibti coming i mean to be to dispute fourth place with faveridge and that is rare roberta in fifth so royal heroin certainly looks to be second now the head on you see uh freddy head bringing mabish second from the right of your picture now that's habibti on the right then reading from right to left of the leaders that's freddy head on mabish royal roberta royal heroin and over on the left Faveridge with the white noseband. At this stage, there doesn't look to be very much in it, but in fact, Mabish had quickened away from Royal Heroin, had got the lead up the hill, and never looks like giving it back. Faveridge didn't possibly quite get the trip. She certainly didn't produce the kind of acceleration we've seen in the past. So there's the winning jockey, Freddie Head, who's won for his sister cricket on this wonderful filly, Mabish, 
are now owned by the Maktoums. The 5-2 favourite winner.